Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. A little late posted today, got tied up in Diablo, having a good old time, um, for the most part. So, without further ado, we got more Modern Horizons 3 leaks. Spoilers, call them what you will. Only three of them, so, eh, you know. But hey, we'll make a quick video, be 10 minute stops. A little bit of talk about them, because these leaks are actually rather good. Even for just three. So, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. Trying to get to a thousand. We'll have giveaways when we do. Also, links in the description to other ways to support the channel if you don't want to just subscribe for free. Hey, there's memberships and all kinds of stuff on YouTube. Yeah, you do your thing. Um, but yeah. So, first card we're going to look at today is Invert Polarity. Love this picture. It's a red and two blue instant says choose target spell then flip a coin if you win the flip gain control of that spell and you may choose new targets for it if you lose the flip you counter it so this is quite literally a counter spell for blue and red that has no downside that's right either you counter the spell or you take it and notice it says target spell it could be a creature, an artifact, an instant, a sorcery, a planeswalker, anything you can take. Or, at worst, counter it like you would anyway. I think this is going to be a very popular card in Commander. Um, in that old, uh, heads, I think it's heads, heads I Win, Tails You Lose uh, deck that came out. Um, among other flip card decks. Or flip coin decks. Uh, but yeah, this is... Even if your deck doesn't have flip a coin stuff going on, this spell is insanely good. Holy cow, I'm surprised it's a rare and not a myth. If this was a mythic, could you imagine what it would do? Good God. So, anyway, this is sweet as hell. Moving on next, we have... Uh, whatever you call this. No, I'm joking. Monumental Hinge. The land... Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control planes. Okay, so this is going to be a land cycle. Uh, tap, add a white. For two white, two, and tap, look at top five cards your library. You may reveal a historic card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. So it even tells you the historic cards. Your artifacts, legendaries, sagas are historic. Now what's cool about this... This is the second land like this that we've seen. I think the first one was green. Don't quote me on that. I've slept since then. But this is apparently going to be a land cycle inside of this set, along with the fetch lands. Uh, and this is a powerful land cycle. Yeah, if you don't have a planes, it comes into play tapped. But when you have shock lands and the sur the the uh, survey survey surreal so sur whatever it is. There's plenty of dual color lands that's going to make this come into play untapped. And its ability is insane. This is draw spells. This is a draw card for white for four mana. I mean, Jesus. The only thing that could make this card better or more out of control is if, instead of it being a land, if it was a freaking planes to go with it. That way you could fetch it. That would be dumb. But they didn't do that with any of these, thank God. I think they learned their lesson um, from uh, that Blue Land Mystic, whatever it is, uh, that got banned that you could fetch up because uh, it was an island and put cards back on top of your deck and start a weird loop with it. Anyway, yeah. So there's that. Um, like this card a lot. I think it's really good. Um, we haven't seen the black one or the blue one or the red one yet. The white one, apparently, is very powerful. Uh, I forgot what the green one did, but it was actually pretty good itself. Um, if this is what the white one does, I shudder to think what the blue, red, or black one will do. Like, ugh. Um, white drawn cards? Yeah, they've got to be legendaries. They've got to be artifacts or sagas. Still, just... If every one of the lands does something like this and lets you draw things out of your deck, insane. Just simply insane. Way too good. So, anyway. Very popular again. Commander. 
Uh, maybe the older formats as well, depending on kind of deck you're running. Um, I can't think of a deck off the top of my head I'd put this in. Um, but I'm sure there's something out there, because God knows what's going on. And finally, we have an uncommon, which I think is going to really shake up the world of modern. So we have the Ethereum Terramander. Now, if you guys remember, uh, P. Terry uh, used to be blue, and it was a powerful card in Standard, and became a very powerful card in the older formats as well. This one is one black artifact creature, Salamander Drake. It has flying, and it's a 1-1. One, one. And just like uh, Big Terry, uh, you can only block creatures with flying, but it has Adapt 4 for a black and 6. However, this ability costs one less to activate for each other artifact you control. If this creature has no plus one plus one counters on it, it gets four counters on it, so it becomes a five five for one. Um, this is an amazing card. Um, we already have the artifact decks that are out there doing their things. Um, you know, the Memnite decks and, and all that stuff we have in Commander. We have the Artifact decks as well, which this is also a thing. This, this to me, seems like a very powerful card. Plus, for one, it's a black and six. Now, it says um, activate for each other artifact you control. So it can't count itself. But if you get six other artifacts out for one black, it's a 5-5. Five five for two mana, basically. Now, with that said, um, it may not be as good as some people think or as good as some people want it to be. But let's, let's think about this. If you have a deck full of artifacts and maybe it's a, um, some kind of mid-range by time deck or some weird other kind of style deck, um... This can be a kill condition and a very easy one to cast for two black if everything else on your board is an artifact. Um, not to mention it's an uncommon. One thing I do fear um, is it ha it's not going to happen right now, but if this gets reprinted later down to a common and becomes legal and pauper, that is going to be absurd because there's already an affinity deck uh, in Popper, that's not all that great, but it's powerful enough in Popper. It's making frog mites and stuff and for free, and frog mites take four for two black. You could play this and make a five-five flyer. That's insane, especially in Popper. So, uh, if you guys like Popper, I would definitely pick up four of these because I'm almost positive at some point they will downshift this to common uh of which then it will be legal and popper now it may take a little while but i trust me I, it's probably gonna happen now with that said uh you could wait till they get reprinted down to common and you could get them then too um but i think if this comes out and this card itself is is not on a high price range if it's 50 cents to a dollar and the foils are less than two, I would definitely be picking these up because I got a feeling once it, once this card finds a home, it's going to be pricey. It's going to be a five to ten dollar foil and maybe a two to three dollar rare at least. Um, that's all I got to say about this. this card's just way too good. I, I can't express that enough. Um, and is this card good? Jesus. So. With that said, guys, there you have it. We only got three links, three links, three leaks uh, on this beautiful what fucking day. Is it? Is it Sunday? Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, it's Sunday. Wow, it's Sunday. Um, but hey, it's Memorial Weekend. Congratulations out there, guys. Thank a veteran. And until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from a game table. Hopefully not playing this damn abomination. Oh, God. Probably gonna happen.